open up our soul, our beginning and our end, the one that created the heaven and the earth. Let's begin to worship him. Let's give him all glory, all adoration. There is none like him. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be lifted. Let's give him glory for this opportunity he has given us to be among the living soul. Let's worship the Lord this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. Amen. We are here again. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. We are here. We are here again. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control.
great joy and gladness, and many rejoice, and many will rejoice with you at his birth. For he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. You must never be touch wine or add liquor. You must never touch wine or add liquor, and will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth. And he will persuade many Israelites to turn to the Lord their God. He will be a man with the spirit and power of Elijah, the prophet of the old. Of old. He, will, he, will proceed of, he will proceed the coming of the Lord, preparing the people for his arrival. He will turn the heart of the Father to their children, and he will change his obedience mind to accept godly wisdom. The courier said to the angel, how can, he, how can I know this will happen? I am an old woman, and my wife is also well along in years. Then the angel said, I am Gabriel, I stand in the very presence of God. It was he who sent me to bring you this good news. And now, since you, you didn't believe what I said, you won't be able to speak until the child is born. For my words will certainly come true at the proper time. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zachariah to come out, wondering why he was taking too long. He was taking so long. When he finally did come out, he couldn't speak to them. Then they realized from his gestures that he must have seen a vision in the temple sanctuary. He stayed at the temple until his term of service was over, and then he returned home. Soon afterward, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant and went into seclusion for five months. How kind the Lord is, she exclaimed. He has taken away my disgrace of having no child, having no children. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent angel to angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to, to a married man named Joseph, who descended that of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman, the Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be frightened, Mary. The angel told her, For God has decided to bless you. You will become pregnant and have a son, and you and you are to name him Jesus. He will be very great, and you will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord give and the Lord God will give him the throne of ancestors, his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Amen. Mary asked the angel, But how can I have a baby? I am a virgin. The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby born to you will be holy, and you will, will be called the Son of God. What's more, a relative, Elizabeth, has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she's already in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant, and I'm willing to accept whatever you want. May everything you have said come true, and the angel left. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we are talking about active and living faith. Amen. 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 It's a month of what? Good news. A month of good news. Good news. It's a month of good news. Mm -hmm. So in the month of good news, we need a active and living faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The story we just heard shows us how the it was the story of the announcement of birth of John the Baptist and Jesus Christ. The angel appeared to their would be parents. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now let's look at how Zachariah responded and how Mary responded. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the angel of good news appeared to Zachariah. Said to Zachariah, Zachariah was a priest. He gives, he, he walks in the presence of God. So the angel said, You have been praying. You and your wife have been praying. You know, the Lord has asked your prayer. The Lord has decided to bless you, to, to bless you with his son. The soul will be great, you know. It will win many people for 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 God. You mm. will even have the spirit and the power of um, of John the Baptist. Mm. Zachariah, you know, was like, is it possible? Mm. Zachariah said to the angel, "How can I be sure this will happen? Mm. This is a man that stands in the presence of God, mm. saying, I'm too old. How can I be sure that this will happen?' The angel had to tell him, 'I am Gabriel.'" Mm. Mm. I stand in the very presence of God. It was him who sent me to bring you this good news. The angel has to even use up his profile mm. to convince Zachariah. Mm. And for doubting God, um, the angel punished him. Mm. He punished him. He won't be able to speak. Mm. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we in this month we cannot we cannot afford to doubt God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And eventually the wife got pregnant. So what the angel said came to pass. Now let's look at Mary. After six months that Elizabeth has been has been has been has been pregnant, the angel showed to Mary. The angel appeared and said to her, "Greeting to you, favored woman. The Lord is with you." Mary was confused and disturbed. Tried to think, what kind of um, greeting is this? The angel said, "Don't be afraid, Mary." You know, for you have found favor with God. Tell somebody you will find favor with God. You will find favor with God. He said we have a son. Mm. You know, and they had a discussion. I have a son. I'm a virgin. How will it work? They discussed. She didn't question what God was saying. And after the discussion, that she understood the the, the kind of gift that God is bringing to the world through her. All she said was, "I am this. I am the Lord's servant." May everything you have said about me come true. Mm -hmm. And the angel left her. Mm. I said, then Zachariah said, how can this be? Mm. Mary said, I am the servant of the Lord. The Lord can use me the way he chooses. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was, her, that was Mary's response. And after that response, what was her action? In verse um, 39, we saw that a few days later, Mary hurried to the hill country of Judea, to the town, to the town, where Zachariah lived. And she entered the house and greeted Elizabeth. Verse 41. At the sound of Mary's greeting, Elizabeth's child lived within her. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm. So Mary took action that 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 turned that turned around the situation, that activated, and yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That activated her good news. She had the good news. Mm. She didn't go and carry food. She didn't go and meet Joseph. She didn't go and since the angel said Elizabeth is, she went there. Mm. Yes, and the spirit of God entered, and the process and the process started. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in this month that we are anticipating our month of new things, our month of testimonies, there are five things I want to share with us that we need to keep in mind. Amen. 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 Five things to be mindful for in this our month of good news. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number one is our faith. Mm. Say my faith. My faith. Yes. We need living and active faith. Mm. Most of us can pray. Amen? Amen. But we are not mindful of the answers that our prayers can produce. We pray. But we also need to be mindful of the, of the answers that the prayers can produce. We are not ready to hear from God. Talk less of believing, of believing what He's saying. Mm. You know, we pray. We are not ready to hear from Him. Talk less of believing the, what He's saying to us through dreams, through word of knowledge, and, those, and, 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 and things like that. Number two is relationship. Yes. The relationship matters. Our relationship. In this month of good news, our relationship matters. Mary became the mother of Jesus because of her relationship with God in heaven and her relationship with Joseph, a descendant of King David on earth. So our two relationships came together to qualify her for, for that gift. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Some relationships will automatically kill our good news mm. and kill our dreams. So we need to watch the kind of relationships that we keep. Number three is our expectations. In this month of good news, we must be expectant. Tell your neighbor, be expectant. Be expectant. Be expectant. We must be expectant. It says, as a man thinketh, so he is. If indeed this is a month of good news, the only thing that our mind and consciousness should, should be anticipating are good news. Amen? Amen. Amen. We should be anticipating good news, nothing more. It has been called a month of good news. Anything that is not good should not even cross our mind. Mm. In Ephesians 3.20, it says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that is working with us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we must have the faith to receive good news. In this month, number four, our thoughts and our tongue. Say our thoughts, say my thought and my tongue. My, my thoughts, thoughts and, and my tongue. tongue. You know, our thoughts and our tongue, they are very powerful. The angel had to take Zachariah's speech capacity away mm. to keep and sustain the good news that is unfolding for his family. Mm. You see, I said earlier that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The, 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 the angel can see that Zachariah lacked the capacity to incubate good news. Good news cannot stay in him. He will just be talking all over the place. Mm. So he has to take it away so that, you know, the thing will grow. Whereas maybe he has the capacity. She had the good news and she acted on it. Praise the Lord. Aye. The final one, which is number five, is our preparedness. Mm. This is what we show others that 
we know the capacity of the God that we serve. How prepared we are. Imagine that Mary was preparing to get married, but something bigger was presented to her. Mary's response demonstrated that she knew the capacity of God. A virgin will conceive through the Holy Spirit. And she believed it. Praise the Lord. Amen. She believed the cap she knows the capacity of God. And you know, I saw somewhere in um, Exodus um, 20, verse 6. He said, But well, God, but I will lavish unfailing love for a thousand generations on those who love me and obey my commandments. So that is what um, Mary benefited from. Praise the Lord. Amen. I pray that this word of God will, will sow good seed in our lives. Amen. Amen. And in this in, in this month of good news, we shall be prepared. Amen. And we shall produce good news. Amen. And our results shall be evident. Amen. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are blessed this morning, I just want you to shout three thunders. Hallelujah. One, two, three, go. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. That is the word of God that um, the Lord has for us today. And Pastor Daira Dibola has given us that word. I pray that that word will do wonders in our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we should not forget the five things that is needed this month. Number one is faith, your faith. Number two is your relationship. And then number three is expectation. Number four is your thought and your tongue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number five is preparedness. Preparedness. Praise the Lord. Amen. I pray that we shall be prepared for God in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the good news that the Lord is going to visit us with this month shall be such that people around us will share Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, it's, uh, we want to give offering now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Osha, Maria. Osha, Aisha. Please can you go around with the offering? Uh, the people on that are watching us, they can also send yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And Sister Aisha is going around with the offering. I we have uh, Amen. 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 I just want to tell us that. Um, we are not going to church. We are not going back to church on the 21st of this month. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are not going back to church on the 21st of this month. Uh, we still want to uh, hold on for a while and be sure that the coronavirus has gone before we go back to church. So we are not in a hurry. The church is not locked. The church is not closed. We meet as a church every day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Praise the Lord. Amen. You and I should know that we are the church and that we should not shut the gate of the church of our hearts. Praise the Lord. Amen. And as we do this, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. By the grace of God, on Tuesday by 5 p.m., we are meeting again for Bible study. Please let us uh, be prepared. We'll be studying the book of Luke chapter 6. So everybody should read the book of Luke chapter 6 and come with your contributions Come with your questions, and the Lord will be here, the Holy Spirit will be here to give us answers in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And also, by the grace of God, on uh, on Friday, we, with the people that have been meeting every day for prayer, we also have a vigil on that Friday by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. I pray that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I hope people are hearing us. Yeah. You can hear us. Can we increase the volume and see? Praise God. Hallelujah. Brother Shem, can you hear us? Have you been hearing us since? Yes. Okay, God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So for all the prayer warriors that meet every day, the prayer warrior, the prayer family that meet every day, we are going to have vigil by Friday, by the grace of God. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And then, like I said, on Tuesday by 5 p.m., we are meeting for Bible study. I will be studying the book of Luke, Luke chapter 6. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I want us to pray some prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
Um, the Lord has given me three prayer points that He wants us to pray on today, and I want everybody to be ready to pray this prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The first prayer point we are going to pray, we are going to shout the name of Jesus once. We are going to shout the Holy Spirit and say, Father, Father, I commit my week into your hands. I commit, I commit my week, week into your Father, hands. Father, see me through this week. Father, see me through this week. Go ahead of me in this week. Go, Go ahead, ahead of me this week. Be my Alpha and my Omega. Be, be my, my Alpha and my Omega. Do not permit me to perish in this week. Do not, Do not permit me to perish. Shall we pray in the mighty name of Jesus? Father, 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 Father in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Father, I King of glory. I commit my week into your hands. Oh Lord, that you will see me through this week. We pray that you will take over the spirit of us. Go into this week. Ahead of us, be our Alpha, be our Jesus Omega, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that every step we we'll take this week shall be ordained from you in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, oh Lord, that we will not perish in this week in the name of Jesus. Everything that has followed us into this week, Father, we will not lose them, we will not, they will not perish into this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, see us through this week as a church, as individual, as a family, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Amen. I pray that the Lord will see us through this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that every living thing that is following us into this week will not perish into the week in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that our finances, our material things will not perish into the week in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to pray the second prayer point. I want you to say, my father, my father, my father. My father, my father, my father. Every sickness in the world. Every, Every sickness, sickness in the Father, world. let them perish into this week. Father, let, let them perish in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, 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 name of Jesus my Father, my Father, my Father, I pray that every sickness that is in the world shall perish in this week in the name of Jesus. I don't care what the name of that sickness is. I don't know what the name of that disease is. Every sickness that is taking the lives of people, every sickness that is making people to run away from, from the gathering of the people of God. Father, they shall perish in this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, they shall perish in this week in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. I want you to say, Father, Father be my strength. Be my strength. Father 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 be my strength. All through this year. All through this year. And years that are to come. And years that are to come. Father Lord be my strength. Father Lord be my strength. Don't let me go weak. Don't let me. Don't let me be weary. Don't let me be tired. Father be my strength. Father shall we pray in the name of Jesus. Father Lord I pray. My Father, my Father that you will be my strength. You will be the strength of my children. You will be the strength of my family. You will be the strength of the church. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father we pray O Lord that we will not go weary. Father we will not be tired. Father we will not be weak. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will yield your strength in us. Every day by day in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. So our Father in heaven, we thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. We bless you for another opportunity to be gathered in your presence. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for making it possible as a church to meet together today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I said that thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you since the beginning of this coronavirus that we did not hear of any evil concerning any member of our church. Amen. Father, concerning all our loved ones, we thank you for protecting us. We thank you for guiding us. We thank you for not permitting evil of any kind. Father, be now glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for the success of today's service. Thank to you, Lord. we all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, in all ways, is there any way that we have sinned against you? Father, we pray that you will, you will have mercy and forgive us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray that you will sanctify us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this new week that we are starting today, we call upon you that you will go ahead of us in your power, in your might, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. that the journey of this new week shall be a peaceful one for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. As a church, as we go into this week, Father, we pray, we will not mourn over anybody in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not lose anybody in the name of Jesus. Amen. This week shall be a productive week. Amen. Whatsoever we lay our hand upon this week, Lord, shall yield plenty for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, it shall be a week of good news. Amen. We will hear good news from you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Amen. You send your angels to deliver the good news to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you because you have answered this prayer. Thank you, Lord. Father, we cover the offering with the blood of Jesus. Lord, Lord, Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that by the time we'll be meeting again, it shall be a testimony that God's service in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you because you have answered this prayer. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. 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 Happy Sunday. God bless you. Everybody that joined today, I pray that the Lord will give you your own portion of this blessing of today's service in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen.